Hey guys, welcome back to Armored Warfare, it's Jaeger262, and today is a bit of a news episode. There will be gameplay following this portion, but just a really cool feature I thought I'd touch on that just got released. It was supposed to be, as you can see by this article, released in the update 0 0.28, and it wasn't, but they're putting it in now, and it is, of course, these flags that you see on this Abrams here with the default Magnus Halter skin, which I wish they would give us now that Sebastian Grimm is able to be killed, and this is kind of concluding the story. Wish we could get that skin, but that aside, the flags are essentially just these cosmetic items. If you read it here, you know, two animated flags will be installed on any vehicle that supports them, which pretty much all do. That means that more often than not, you're not going to be able to use it. I don't want to say that, but with Armored Warfare, that means that it's probably just going to be primarily MBTs and light tanks, AFEs, that kind of thing, mainly just MBTs at first, but I'm sure they'll have all of it. And they explain that they already tried this with the Challenger 1 Theon, so if you've seen that, it's the Irish Challenger. It had a big Irish flag on it. It's going to basically look like that, but they kind of allay any you know, concerns players have because it doesn't actually impact the spotting mechanics. So don't worry. You can put these on your vehicle. It'll look neat, look kind of funny, but the enemy team will actually be able to spot you. The only real interesting part is this here. Choosing your desire for making the purchase and installing it. That's the hard part. Now, you can get some flags in the game right now by playing events or by purchasing certain vehicles, but making a purchase and installing it is Armored Wars fair way of saying that if you like these flags and you want to do something cool like put American flags on an American vehicle or something, you're going to have to pay for it. And flags right now cost like any other decal, it's just a little bit of gold. But it's just another way for them to make money steadily with a feature that doesn't break the game. So they've come under fire a lot for their loot crates which don't drop enough, or for OP premiums like the Merkabat Tier 7, which is still a little OP, even though they nerfed it. This, in my opinion, is a really great way for the game to continue to make money, to let it be free to play, that doesn't directly you know, impact how the game is played. It's just a cool little customization thing. I'm all about that for tanks. I'm just weary about what kind of flags we would get for free. If you saw at the bottom, I didn't highlight it. Battalion flags available to all members. So if you do have a battalion, the cool thing is, coming later, you already have an emblem that's always on the front of your tank, but now you'll be able to have a battalion flag if you wanted. So if you have no flags, you're new to the game, or you just never bothered to play any of the missions to get a flag because you didn't want one, don't worry, you can still employ this feature as long as you're in a battalion. The only thing I'm worried about is what kind of free flags are we going to get? Are they going to be more the historical variety, more of the national variety, which is what I want. They're just going to be like goofy flags. Now, that's not really something to worry about. It's just kind of like I'd rather see more historical or country flags. I would rather, I would really love to see like actual armored group flags or unit flags, or even just little colored flags for the T90s from the Russian tank biathlon. That would be fun. But we'll see how it goes. I will definitely be using this feature. I will put a video up when it's launched. I don't have a lot of flags. I think I only have a German and a Ukrainian one. So, I mean, not a lot of vehicles I can use those on, but I'm going to put them on my vehicles. I'm going to show you what they look like. I'm going to play some games with them just because I think this is a cool way for Armored Warfare to make money and for players to get something that's a little bit different. So overall, cool news update. Just wanted to share that with you. Not the highlight of, you know, update 028. Obviously, those were the French vehicles, but it's a feature that I thought was pretty neat. So, stay tuned for the later part of this video where I'll be doing some Chinese MBT gameplay. And that is because the branch of the month, every month, as you know, Armored Warfare will do a branch that's discounted. For April, it's Chinese MBTs. And so, I'm just going to be doing just some live gameplay of that. I don't have a lot of Chinese MBTs. But we'll see how it goes, and I'll keep you posted on this and any other news from the developer diary that comes up. Thank you so much for watching. Alright, so, like I said in the news portion of this video, Chinese main battle tanks are the branch of the month. And so I'm just going to be doing some gameplay. 
Now, as you can see, I have close to none of these main battle tanks. And the reason for that is, for a while, I played this game, and I didn't know that there was unlimited garage space, or, well, not or, and. Not only is there unlimited garage space, but you also get a slight bonus every game for the more vehicles you have. So the more vehicles you collect, the more credits you can make, and or experience, I think it is. Now, obviously, my percentage is like 0 0.01. But it's something. It's a little bonus. It grows with the more vehicles, but I didn't know that. So if you're new to the game, collect vehicles. Unlike World of Tanks or War Thunder, in Armored Warfare, you can collect as many vehicles as you want, as long as you want. It's a pretty cool feature for somebody like me, because I love collecting armored vehicles. In fact, I have so many vehicles in Armored Warfare, I don't actually know what to do with all of them. And that would be the, this line, the Chinese MBTs. I only have the tier 5 and the tier 6 because I didn't really know how to play it or what to expect. So I just kind of got into it and just played around. I thought they were going to be a lot like Soviet MBTs, which they are in a few respects. They have good armor on the turrets. They are incredibly well armored. The Type 96, which is on the screen now, has a lot of great armor. But just in the turret, their guns are fine. No gun depression. It's going to play exactly like a Soviet MBT, except for the fact that they have no armor on the actual tank. They're meant for fast, light support. And so because of that, I don't play them a lot. But I thought today I would throw up some PvP gameplay and just kind of see how it goes. I've unlocked the Tier 7, which is basically the same exact thing. So we're going to buy that. Yep. Confirm. Congratulations to me. Where do you go from tier 6 to tier 7? Still the Leopard 2. Hey, the commander real quick to free him. Oh wow, you start with heat. That's nice. Don't need high explosive because that's kind of useless at this tier. Um, yeah, we'll just make it even. Even Stevens. One and twenty-one. All right, let's take a look at these upgrades. ERA, that's different. ATM, that's the same. Improved engine control unit. I think, yeah, all Chinese MBTs come with an improved engine control unit. Oh, this here five doesn't. Um, so that's basically what that is. Is it just allows you to go faster? These are very effective tanks in terms of just how the ground resistance works. So let's just get into a game. See how it plays at tier 7. At tier 6 is pretty alright. Again, not a bad tank. I love it in PvE. I don't play a lot of PvP games. They're good vehicles. They just get really repetitive. They're all the same until the higher tiers. Which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Again, it's like the Leopard line or the Soviet T-72 line, but, you know, it's just not my playstyle. I like heavier MBTs, not lighter ones, so we'll see. And then I also have the Type 90, the Type 92. I haven't researched yet, but they are up for purchase. Well, I've researched one, not the other. So I might play through that, and just for the whole month of April, I'll be making little gameplay videos just on the Chinese tanks. I might do a vehicle showcase on Chinese tanks. I'm grinding to the Type 99, so we'll see how it goes. I got into a PvP game pretty quick. And I hate this map so much. I cannot tell you how much I hate North America, so... This map is not suitable for any MBT, in my opinion. <laughs> and that might be because I'm just bad at MBTs, but, like... Jesus. Just the amount of hills, the amount of... Hills ...and distance, you Driver, know, crank it. doesn't matter if you have great gun depression, you're still gonna be too slow to get over. I mean, look at this map. Like, what are you supposed to do? However, I'm glad I'm doing it in Gunner, the Type 96A, because... It will be fast enough to not only get over these hills, but to get into some of my favorite positions on this map. And so what I'm going to try to do is flank around this area. Oh. We started. Come on. You 
DR. What are you, what the fuck are you doing? Anyway, what I was going to say is I'm going to flank around this area, kind of go across the A line and come around to their cap here. Oh shit, whoop, ah, I'm just hitting everybody today. Rock, yep, I hit the rock. Alright. I'm not good at driving tanks and explaining shit, but... Anyway, here we go. Now, why am I going all the way out there when my team isn't? Mostly because it's a good way to just spot when you don't have gun depression, just to stay on this road and shoot in. And we have a little bit, you can see it there, it's like 5 degrees or something. And also because I'm fast enough to, like I said, these are pretty fast vehicles. And I don't want to get stuck with like the Type 90 over there so with all the TDs sniping. It's, I don't know what that's about. I don't know why you would do that. But this tank doesn't survive under enemy fire, so I'm just going to try to scout and get some hits. That's it. That's like my only objective. We'll see how that goes. I again, hate this map and not good at PvP, so it's like, ah, oh man, hit another one. You can tell I'm not good at PvP. I mean, I hit all these rocks. So yeah, I don't really know where to go. Like, I want to give good advice. Like, hey, so you should play this map now. Uh, I have no idea. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. No idea. I usually, when I play this map, either take this route or go straight down the J line. So, I mean, okay, see, there's a BBR. And we hit him. Nope, he's dead. We tried. These tanks do, I should mention, I mean, that really wasn't a good case. He pulled back too fast. But now that I have it on my mind, slightly longer aim times, just like the uh, Soviet ones. They use the same guns as the Soviet tanks. It doesn't bother me because armored warfare tanks are pretty accurate. It's not like other games, and you know which ones I'm talking about, where. You could fully aim in, and it'll take five seconds, and you'll just whiff a shot for no reason. Um, this game's pretty accurate, so it doesn't matter how long it takes for the aim time. But I mean, if you care about those stats, just know they're slightly longer than Chinese MPTs. Which is how it is. I don't think there's anybody left at their base, so maybe we'll just cap it. I don't know. Now they know I'm here. Great, knock down another tree. What the hell am I doing today? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go for the cap because, like, I'm that guy. I'm just gonna do it. Oh, sh son Identify of a bitch. target. Awesome, that would be the tank that spotted me. Tier 8 Merkava. Oop. Smoke grenade, out! Oh, great. I cannot drive this tank to save my life. Oh, no, it's not bad. There's just a pile of iron on the ground. Identify. Sweet. Awful tank. Jesus. I'm just going to hide behind this thing and cap out. What are they going to do about it? Don't be this guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is my first game in this tank. I don't know how to play it, so I'm just going to hide like a bitch. Don't, don't play like this. Be better than me. Do better. <laughs> oh wow! Thirteen. I'm waiting for my team to spot that Merkava, so I can shoot it. Ah, hit him for six sixty. I'll take it. So yeah, that's it. We're just going to cap out. I don't mean to be such a boring player, but in this matchup, on this map, I'd rather just cap than brawl. Because there's no way I could survive a brawl with any of these vehicles. But I don't have to. Hit him again. just really wish he would stop picking up my guys. Oh no! He killed the M8! Oh. I should have been better. Should have been faster. I hope that type, that type 90 comes and helps out. I mean, they only have four guys left on their team, so I think we're pretty much safe. I think this is a win. But I'm going to stay on the cap anyway, just... Just because... That's the only instance where a, a slow A time can matter when you're as bad as players me. 
<sighs> At least we're getting a lot of capping experience. Yep, victory. All right. I apologize for <laughs> just being a coward there, straight up. Uh, so yeah, we probably didn't do great this game. That was not not the best way to look at Chinese MBTs, but it's whatever. We do 2300 XP. We're at the bottom of the team. Oh my god, bottom of the team. Whew. All right, let's try to get a good map. Also. Don't be like me in that regard. I have favorite maps. I think everybody who plays this game has favorite maps. But I play to those maps. And so North America, I've never been able to master. I've never been able to find a really great place. On MBT, I mean, as an AF here, it's a tank destroyer. It's fun. It's a field day. But never, never as an MBT. So hopefully we'll get a more MBT-centric map. Very flat, very open. Please, God. Are you s What the- Oh my God. <laughs> 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 Alright, we're on North America again, so I guess- I guess it's gonna be more of the same thing. I hate Armored Warfare when it's like this. I hate this. Part of having a small map pool is getting the same map over and over again. And that sucks. I was just talking to a buddy the other day about World of Tanks, a different game, and how small their map pool is now. And each update, they remove more and more fan favorite maps. It sucks. I don't know. I don't. I'm bringing World of Tanks in this game because I really don't know how hard it is to design maps for vehicle games. I have no idea. Like, I have no concept of that. So I'm not saying Armored Warfare is the leading maps. I don't think they are. I just Seems to be not a lot of maps going around in vehicle games these days. You keep it to a few. Or maybe you just play so much like me and you just see them all. But same matchup. Bottom tier and a tier 8. Well, mid tier, because there's tier 6s. Um, mid tier, North America. Same side, standard battle. This time, I'm going to do something different and go down the J line. Because last game was kind of boring. I'm gonna go down the J line and hopefully we'll get some kills. I can find where the J line is. It's over there. Why am I so bad at this today? Alright, we got a martyr two. We're just gonna fall in. This thing. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. Here's our cap. Just destroying everything. Alright, so they have a Sombra Mark II. Oh wow, the BMP3 is already here. Oh, welcome to the party, buddy. Other tank destroyers are out and about. Nope, that's a miss. That's a miss and a half there. Lose BMP doesn't spot me. Hopefully those tank destroyers don't spot me. This this is exciting. This is awful. I'm so terrified right now. I don't like this map. Because yeah, everybody's just gonna stay there and snipe. I kinda wanna go after this MB oh shit. EMP3. Uh there's a Merc of the How do I get myself into these things? And I have no support except for some TDs that are over here. Oh man, there's a Leo. Revolution. Sabra Smash. Oh no. I went the wrong way. I do this a lot. Now that Leopard 2 AB is going to die. I feel bad. But lucky for him, we have excellent mobility. So we can move into support here. Not quickly enough in there. Oh my god, yeah, well, oh. Oh no, god. Alright. 
Now I feel really bad because I'm just getting out of here. Never mind this nonsense. I get for running though, right? Like that's this is the price I pay. All right, engines up. It's not my fault. There's no support. I have, back up. I have no teammates out here who are willing to help me. Now this revolution is just gonna come and destroy me. Oh no, God! Please do something. Do anything. Hey, that was a nice miss. All right, 12 second reload. Identify. No, oh, sweet nice. Jesus, I'm dead. I can't even fire Damn it, they hit us hard. That was a shitty fucking game, and that's why I hate Chinese MBTs. They're really not defense-based MBTs. Had I been in an Abrams or a T72 at the same tier, I could have wrestled with that Merkaba for a little bit. But yeah, wow, shitty, shitty game. I hate this map. That's exactly why I hate this map. I mean, what is this Merkaba doing? Like, what are any of these players doing? They just sat there and watched me and that Leo die. And to be honest, I kind of, I kind of watched that Leo die too. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I was right there with him and I just ran. So that's on me too. But fuck that map. Straight up, fuck it. I hate that map so much. Mm. Well, while that's done, we're going to try to play some Type 96 gameplay. Which is the same tank. Don't get fooled. Same tank, same loadout. Just lower tier. Hopefully we'll get into a nicer matchup. Or I'll actually do something. I'll actually, maybe I'll play this game. You know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. a bad day. This was a bad day to make a video. I don't know what it is, but I am sucking hard. Please, God, let me get an okay map. Alright, I'll take it. Chemical Plant North America, not bad bottom tier but that's all right because their top tiers oh t90 that's all right mm. Mm, the leopard two now those are okay those top tier mbts we can penetrate frontally on this vehicle i think yeah yeah we should be fine don't like that it's encounter though that sucks if my t doesn't know what they're doing so we'll see. I'm just going to go straight again. Straight for the cap. Don't be that guy. Don't be me. I'm just going to try and spot the cap. And give, again, light support scout in this vehicle. Or stay in the back. Just support. It gets good pen. It has an okay rate of fire at almost 9 seconds uh, shot. It's pretty good as far as MBTs go. So use that to your advantage. Not like I've been doing, apparently, but in some kind of way. I went out alone again. I hope I don't get spotted. I mean, I don't really see how I can get spotted from right here. Never know. Anything's possible. That that vibe's a little hot. Alright, this is a pit. I knew that. I knew this. Identify target. Oh, oh. Awful tank. The stick guy, that eyes all hot, just fucking destroyed us. Fuck this. How the hell did that happen? How the hell did that happen? Well, 
now I have almost no HP, so this game's gonna be real short. Identify target. Hostile PC. Second reload time because of that. Identify target. Awful tank. So yeah, this is a tricky tank to play if you play it like an absolute Muppet like I am. It has no armor. It has no armor for Muppet protection. Uh, so you're seeing some of that inverted gear. That bug is still. Identify target. In fact, I'm Awful tank. No way, bro. I'm not dealing with I'm just gonna blame my bad gameplay on that bug, but if I could steer better, I'd be playing better right now. Just trying to do it again. Holy shit, all my support has just been destroyed. I should probably leave, but I feel like I don't have enough HP, so I'm just gonna yell at Identify! Awful tank! Yeah. That was a good YOLO. I didn't even move. I just died. Anyway, I think it's needless to say that I hate Chinese MBTs, um, but I'm also not playing them to the fullest extent of their ability right now, which is apparent. It's just every little mistake you make in these things, like just missing that one turn, will get you instantly lit up. Unless you're top tier in one of these things, you're not going to be able to do a whole lot. Which is why the line's not super popular, but you'll see people play it. I mean, it's. It's a real niche feeling. I don't know. I would do other tank gameplay, but again, like I said, it's just for April. I will say one really good vehicle in his line that I'm using to grind to the Type 99 is the ST-1. It's not the best Tier 8 tank destroyer, but it's one of my favorite. It plays a lot like the Wilk. So if you've played that Polish top tier, you'll enjoy this one. And I might do gameplay in that just because these are getting so annoying. But again, I'm just not playing it right. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe the Type 99 is better. Let's find out. I'll <laughs> that's what I did. Oh, I can't play this tank. That's because the other one's better. That's that's what I do. Of course, I know the Type 96 is just fine because I grinded it all the way through PVE and it was amazing. No, it looks like the Type 92 is worse. It looks like it's a worse tank all the way around. That's phenomenal. Yep, both defeats, that's great. What did I tell you? Wow, I don't know why the Type 90 series is so bad compared to the Type 96. It's just weird. Type 79, Type 82, the Type 69, and the Type 62. All fine tanks. Obviously, I don't own any of them anymore because I was selling them. I might do showcases. Like I said, if I do a full vehicle showcase, I'll start with the Type 62 and work all the way up to either the VT4 or the Type 99A, depending on which one I hit first. And it depends. It depends on what happens. I am obviously no genius when it comes to playing these things, so... I might add some PvE gameplay to the end, but if not, thank you so much for just putting up with me. I'll do more gameplay videos later today, I'll get back on and I might play the ST1 or something else from Zongfeng, uh, just because I like him, I like his tech tree, but for now, I've had enough, thank you so much for watching, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and see you next time.